Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cousin Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to create a Wi-Fi profiles <coughs> um, for Windows 10. <coughs> so just say if you want to uh, deploy Wi-Fi profiles to your tablets or Windows 10 or even um, uh, laptops, you have to create a Wi-Fi profiles. So now let's get started. Here I'm in Microsoft Intune portal. What I need to do is go into device configuration. And under device configurations, I want to click on profiles. And under profiles, I want to click on create profiles. I have to select a platform. If I'm going to do Android, Android Enterprise, iOS, or Mac OS. In this case, I'm going to do Windows 10 and later. The profiles I want to select is it's going to be Wi-Fi. And then select Create. So let's give it a name. This is called Windows 10 Wi-Fi Profile Config Creation. Description, I don't need it. Click Next. Wi-Fi type, it's going to be an enterprise. Click Next. Oops. So the SSID, this is required. Um, I'm going to, you need this SSID from your network, uh, network administrator in your company. I'm going to call this Cousin SSID. The connection name is going to be Carson Corp. And here's are some uh, settings. Connect automatically when in range. You want to say yes. So that means the computer, the laptop will connect automatically. Connect two more preferred networks is available. I would say no, you don't want your user laptop to connect to a different network. Connect to a network with when, even when it's not broadcasting. I wouldn't say no for this one. Um, meter connection limit is unrestricted. Single sign-on, I'm going, you can as disable or enable. I like to enable it because when the user log on, sign into the device, you want it to automatically connect. Maximum time to authenticate before timeout. This is the second in seconds. So you can say timeout after 15 or 30 minutes. Um, let's see, 60 second time 60 minute is Let's see, 60 times 60. I'm going to say 60 minutes, so it's 3,600. Oh, the value got to be between 1 and 20. That's pretty short. We'll put 120. Allow Windows to prompt users for additional authentications. You can... Um, say no or yes i would say no because you don't you are using the single sign on and you don't want them to, you don't want the windows to um, prompt users to log in i'm gonna leave it as no uh fast roaming settings enable pairwise master key I would say yes if you if your network Wi-Fi support PKE technology, uh, PMK technology. In this case, I'm going to say no. So you have to check with your administrator, your network administrator, about this one, if your network environment support or not. And enable pre-authentication. So. You can do yes or no. I'm going to say no for now. Extensible authentication EAP. 
So again, this one you need to find out from your network um, administrator. I'm going to choose ETLS. And uh, with that, I have to enter all these informations. The certificate is required since it's LT, um, TLS. Let me choose uh, the easy one. This one does not require certificate. Since I don't have certificate in my environment, uh, let's see, company proxy settings, none. Force Wi-Fi profiles to comply with the federal, federal information. Uh, say no for now. Click next. Scope tags. Uh, I don't have to configure scope tags here. Click next. Assignment. You want to assign to your um, all users or all devices, or you can specify. Usually, you have to use um, deploy to all user or all devices. Selected groups. Just for if if you're going to test this profile settings or Wi-Fi settings, you can uh, deploy to to a security group, a test security groups for now. I'm going to deploy to this group. Click select. And if you want to just say if you deploy to all users and you want to exclude a certain group, you can choose select groups to exclude. Click next. You can configure application application rules. What it is is just say don't assign the profile if the OS version is less than you know the the minimum requirements. Or you can assign profile if OS versions is blah blah blah. So I'm going to leave it um, unconfigured for application rule for now. And so the next step we're going to do is we're going to click next. We're going to review the settings. If make sure we are happy with the connect uh, the settings, and then we're going to click on create. So the profiles has been created, as you can see here. And if you're not happy with the settings, you can go to the properties and make changes. This is the basic. Click on edit or configuration setting. Click edit to make the change setting here and scope tag and also the assignment if you want. Um, once you confirm that the profile is working, you can deploy to all users. And under monitor, um, you can monitor the status of the uh, of the Wi-Fi's uh, configurations. This is will give you the device, and here's um, some information we'll provide in the portal, like device name, user principal name, deployment status, last update. And if you look at the user status, it will provide user information, device count, how many devices does use this user log into or apply this policy to if the, if a user has more than one device you would see number of device count here and you would see the deployment status as well and last check-in per setting status um, this is per setting status there's a device a compliant device conflict pending errors some information Let's go back to device configuration profiles. As you can see here, um, Windows 10 Wi-Fi profiles. You click on it, and you see um, profile assignment status here. So that's it. That's how you um, deploy Wi-Fi profiles in Intune. And if you're not happy with the profiles, you can go back in here and oops, and sorry, go back into this section. And then if you're not happy with the profile, you can just delete it by clicking on this three ellipses and you get a delete button. Click on delete. 
And if I want to delete more items, I'm going to delete this email profiles. Click on delete, confirm. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.